are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. And I know guys, I know, bloody hell, another detailing video. Honestly, after this lockdown is finished, my car will literally be clean from suspension upwards. Fuck, it's gonna be sick. For today's video guys, we've got the wheels off the Audi R8 and basically we've got them right there. We're gonna be doing a deep clean on those 50 grand wheels and this wheel well or wheel arch. I can't be eating no booty off that. I wanna clean this so nicely that I can eat booty off it. But I mean, honestly, look how disgusting it is right now. It looks like it's never been cleaned before. wheel wells well, and then we're gonna go on to the actual alloys and stuff look at the suspension and everything it looks like i can think of three words that this looks like your grand carpet oh and the other side it is looking horrible on this side we're gonna sand down the red paint so we've got a little bit of overspray inside here so we're gonna sand that down yes buddy first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna rinse off the wheel wells and then we're gonna hit it with some porn Snow foam. Oh fuck, I forgot to turn it on again. Oh, you got a little. Let me get that for you. Right now, they're looking all juicy. I mean, they're just looking very wet, you know? Quite obviously. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna snow foam it. Yeah, this is going to look quite satisfying with all the snow foam on. Yeah. Don't you dare shit on me again, I'm going to fucking slit your throat. <laughs> Mate, I've got a pink bloody wheel well. So yeah, we're just going to let that sit for a little bit. We're going to do the other side while this is, you know, dwelling. And yeah, then we'll rinse it off. Genuinely, if you listen closely, it sounds like we're in the forest. Here in the rainforest, the red monkey hugs the brake caliper. Honestly, what the fuck has lockdown done to me? My car wheel wells smell like a strawberry marshmallow, like literally. So yeah, now that they smell good, basically what we want to do is we want to make it smell bad. Use it in some iron out. Now we're just going to spray this all over and then we're going to hit it with some obli tar, which is a tar and glue remover. Um, we're not going to spray it on the suspension just because there's rubber bits and stuff. I don't think it's meant to go on rubber bits. Why does the brake caliper look depressed right now? It's been like five minutes, so I'm going to rinse that all off and then I'm going to hit it with the obli tar. This will get rid of all the tar. We're going to be very careful with this one because I don't think it should go on rubber bit. I do feel like I'm, you know, dying right now because of all the, um, the, the lovely smell of petrol, which this smells like basically. So if I die, do make this um, death sound a bit more badass than dying from an auto finesse obli tar bottle, but... After using the obli tar, I do feel a little bit lightheaded, but you can actually see all the tar bits coming out and dissolving a little bit. We're going to leave it to like dissolve all of the tar bits. We've done with the decontamination step. We've done the iron out and we've done the obli tar. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to spray some snow foam on the car, let it sit for a bit and then work it into the suspension, you know, all of these bits. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Yes, yes, of course. But honestly, I don't know what the fuck all this is. It looks like paint or something. Um, so I don't think we're going to get a perfect finish. Um, but we'll try our complete hardest to make sure that this is spotless. Now then, this is the extremely satisfying bit where I have to like paint like a P Picasso. And you know, get all the suspension bits. I'm going to see on it. <laughs> Coronavirus! Honestly, it's so contaminated now that we can't even continue cleaning. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Now let me start off with the suspension because it's the cleanest bit. 
and then uh, we'll work on the wheel well. <laughs> A small problem because I don't know what this is. It might be paint or something. Um, not sure what it is, but it's not coming off. I could try sanding that down, but the plastic might be sanded down as well. So the suspension is just a bit rusty, so um, we're gonna have to deal with that basically. Now it is time for the bit that makes the car sensational, and this is Dressel. So basically, what we're gonna do is these wheel wells are definitely not gonna be 100% perfect. This is definitely not a professional guide on it. But we're gonna spray Dressel all over it to hopefully make this look a little bit better than it is right now. And honestly, this I'm gonna undressel after this. <laughs> And as you guys can see, it's like it's like dripping bloody milk or something, jeez. But what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that on the wheel wells for a little bit. We're going to do the other side. And then that will not leave a nice shine to the wheel wells. The wheel wells are looking absolutely sensational right now, genuinely. It looks like I've sprinkled a bit of sauce on it, gee. All it needs now is a bit of a gold chain and it'll be dripping. Dripping. <laughs> So of course I'm going to show you guys the better one because honestly, now that it's got the dress on, it looks insane. It's, it's like new. Then if we come around to the shit side, nothing really changed to be honest. This, this side is beautiful. This side is like, you know. So now that the wheel wells are all done and they're looking spicy as fuck, right? Let me know what you guys think of my progress. Now we are going to move on to the wheels and this is where we're gonna spend most of our time doing because we're actually gonna be polishing it. Genuinely lads, this is 15,000 pounds worth of wheels. Some people actually didn't believe me, but 15,000 pounds worth of wheels. We have got to make this nice. We're gonna polish them down. We're gonna clay bar them, polish them, ultra glaze them, put paint glaze on, and also ceramic coat them. Firstly, we're gonna start off by washing them. We're just gonna snow foam them. Next step, snow foam. Right, so the wheels are now all clean and I don't know if you guys can really tell, but they look awful. Up close, they are literally scratched to shit. I mean, look at that bullshit. Looks like fucking Wolverine have had, had a go at these bloody tyres. They're called him fat or something, I don't know. But yeah, you can see it's really dull with all these scratches. So, for today's video, we're going to resurrect using a polisher. We're just going to use a little elbow grease in this bitch and it's going to be all good. Right, so I've started on the wheels and basically I've done one wheel. This is the one that I've done, literally polished. Not perfectly because I had to do a hand do it because my proper polisher, you know, it's not small enough to get inside the gaps. But here is the bef here's the after and before. Can you guys tell a difference? Because probably fucking not. On this wheel, you can see like scratches right there on all of the rims. And then on this one, you can only see tiny, tiny scratches around it. Yeah. I thought I would just show you guys what I did to make the wheel look sexy and glossy like the beautiful goddess Angelina Jolie. First step I did was I clay barred the, uh, the wheel to make sure that there's no more contaminated little bitches in the paintwork that are going to ruin it. So I whacked out my machine polisher and I could only do the front of the wheel because um, it wouldn't fit in between and around the spokes of the wheel. And the next step I did, which I didn't actually show you guys, but I put paint glaze 
onto the wheel paint just to make the scratches that are left over from the polish less visible and to make the wheel look more glossy like a bloody Dunkin Donut. Right, so I've quickly just prepped the paint with some as a profile alcohol and now I'm going to use the wheel ceramic coating um, to make this wheel pop even more. This is one shiny ass wheel. Look at it now, jeez. This is the last part of the step and it's looking very, very nice. But now we actually have to put the wheels back on, which is actually going to be kind of sad because the wheel wells look nice. It's not 100% how I wanted it, but I mean, mate, this, you can see the bloody diamonds in it. Look, there's diamonds in it. But yeah, like the suspension stuff, there's just loads of rust on it and you know, obviously I can't do much about it. I mean, fam, the whole thing's bloody rusty, look. So let me get the wheels back on and then we can see it with the final result, basically. Right. Alright then boys, so unfortunately that is all for the wheel and wheel arch deep clean. Honestly, the the wheels are looking so pangalicious. Literally, you can see my reflection in it. Genuinely. Look at this wheel. Nice compared to this wheel. This wheel honestly looks so dull compared to this one. <laughs> Here's the other one and honestly, that one looks sexy as fuck. Comparing it to this one again, which hasn't been polished or hasn't had the treatment, jeez. I'm so happy with the results. You know, you could really, really tell a difference from, you know, the polished wheels compared to the non-polished wheels. The non-polished wheels just look absolutely like dull as fuck. The new ones, oh, they look spicy. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you've got to the end of this video, then comment 327 and I'll subscribe to you. Anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy, uh, hit the subscribe button if you uh, are new. If you didn't enjoy, don't click it. Also, follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff for more behind the scenes and pictures. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you love faces in my next video. What?